don't know why I didn't open this box ahead of time. Why did I not open this? Oh my. You gotta be quicker than that. Welcome back to the channel. For all my new subscribers, I'm Maru, lifestyle blogger and content creator. And here on the channel, I share all things home decor, beauty, fashion, and so much more. So back home now, and I wanna go through everything based on categories. So let's take it piece by piece. Let's start with the kitchen. The first items that I picked up are these spice jars. Uh, they come in a pack of four. The name, what I'll do is I'll pop everything up on the screen. I usually like to keep my spices in the cabinet, but with these, I put the four main spices that I use in these jars. Dried onions, some rosemary, parsley flakes, and I think the other one might be cayenne pepper. But you know, Caribbean girls like it spicy. Next up are these glass canisters. I think I purchased a few of these online back in March and then went in and got four more. Can you see that? Anyway, this one has wild rice in it and I'm gonna be doing an upcoming cabinet organization project. Stay tuned for that. But I'm waiting for a few more of my labels from Etsy. And I feel like this is like the perfect size for a cabinet. It's not too large. It's a smooth, sleek, cylindrical shape and a flat jar. So it's great for stacking. That's a big thing in cabinet organization. You can stack these on top of each other. So I would highly recommend. Next up is something that I've been meaning to get and I'm not sure why it took me so long. A solid spinner. Um, it's all plastic, dishwasher safe, and it has the inside spinner. So once you wash your salad, you simply just spin, drain the excess water. Yep, love it. All right, next up is this lovely cake dish. I cannot pronounce the name of this, so I'll just pop it up on the screen. But I love, love, love this. I've had my eye on this for a little bit. I just didn't need it at the time. I love the floral detailing at the bottom of the cake tray. And then it has like this cute, I don't know, ridged kind of detailing. Oh, I could turn it that way. It's just so darling. Uh, perfect for pastries, for cakes, for um, bread, croissants, you know, so forth. All the things that we shouldn't be eating, <laughs> but we love. And I just feel like it's gonna be perfect for spring. I'm gonna pop this out for Easter with something special in it. Stay tuned. But yeah, I'm just so glad that I got it. It wasn't on sale, but I just felt like it was time. All right, next up are some items that I already have. You've seen them in my Vlogmas videos. Die grip, dry, I don't know. The red wine stem glasses. The red wine stem glasses with this just almost square type of, you know, shape. I have the white wine glasses. I have two red and I just want to go ahead and complete the set and get two more. So nothing brand new, but still new to the apartment. Next up for kitchen and dining is this lovely ridged or cut glass bowl. I don't know what kind of cereal would be poured into this. I look at this as more of like jewelry, uh, trinket storage, giving myself away, but I might go back and get three more and make it a set. I just think that it's just so, so luxurious and just so classy. So I wanted to grab it. I had never seen it before and I just figured, hey, why not pick up at least one and add it to the collection? Love it. Also from Vlogmas, you've seen these on my bar cart styling videos and I think um, a few videos after, like all the way through day 25. There's um, an Instagram photo where I did an excellent brunch. I used these to hold the orange juice and the milk. I'll insert that here. And it's just, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. I have an addiction to ribbed glass or rich glass, bottles, bowls, anything that's cut glass to me just looks so like high end and elevated. But yeah, I just really love this. I have one on my nightstand 
to hold as a decanter for water and then i have two more in the kitchen that i use you know on rotation milk orange juice if it's uh alcoholic beverages it's still good to have water in on your nightstand a bar cart in your office you know even in the kitchen i just love it and it's lidded which makes it such a complete item i picked up some more of these lovely storage boxes for my kitchen they come in different sizes but these were perfect for a few items that didn't have a home in the pantry or kitchen cabinets. Okay, I think that's it for all the kitchen dining items. So let's just do lighting and candles. These votives, these tea light votives are 29 cents a piece. And... You saw it when I picked these up. I, I mean, I cannot believe it. I just stacked four up and I grabbed and ran. Like, I was just so excited. Look at that. So beautiful. So gorgeous. Yeah. 29 cents a pop. And I wanted to grab an even number because I like to do like a row of tea lights. Maybe like on my windowsill or along my dresser or along like the TV um, media unit. Just, you know, to kind of create ambiance. One tea light, two tea light photos, what's that going to do? But having four just kind of in a row is just so exquisite. Or to even do two, one on each nightstand, and then some up on my dresser. So these will be put to great use. Next up are a few items that I got on clearance. It depends on your store. I'm not sure if Ikea stores near you have a clearance section. Two areas where I found clearance items were in the garden plant area. There was a large section of just items that were marked down and i'm getting ready to go through some of them now and then some of them for um store but these two were holiday items this led lantern like uh lamp uh it is battery operated but it has that old world bridgerton you know just previous centuries ago type old world feel <laughs> why'd i go to bridgerton but you know penelope was coming down the stairs in her pajamas uh, with, with something like this in her hand. So I was I was on point when I said Bridgerton. In any event, I just love the vibe and the old school feel of it. It reminds me of things that you would see like in your grandma's bedroom. I love it so much. I just feel like it's perfect for a desk, a nightstand, having it like on a small end table. Really, really, really unique and exquisite. Don't you think? I mean, I'll probably like them. And this candlestick on the whole vibe of like, you know, old fashioned, vintage -y looking decor. This, this screams antique to me. So it was on clearance at Ikea. It was already cheap and then it was on, it was on clearance. So I had to get it. But I got two of these um, and I'm going to have one in my office and then one po probably in my bathroom, my master bathroom. So it has a gold brass finish and base. This does not do anything, it's just there for style. This is also battery operated and you just simply turn it by twisting, I think. I don't know, I haven't I haven't set it up yet, but when I do, we'll go through it. This is another uh, tea light votive. Uh, you saw when I grabbed this and put this in the cart. This is a brass color finish. Can you tell I'm addicted to brass too? Brass and like ridged cut glass. It's just, it's just so luxurious and high end looking, but for a dime. This is, uh, a caged type of votive glass drawer on the inside but the votive goes in there and then you put the glass on it and yeah voila I love it okay so now we're just gonna move on to just general home decor items a few of them are things that you can use to kind of declutter small spaces but mostly home decor all right first up is this brass shrug isn't it lovely it has a bevel type of detail right here you know kind of dips dips down and a brim at the edge you could put this on a coffee table you could put it on a um countertop you could put it on a dresser or a nightstand to put perfumes on 
so many different options but i've had my eye on it it's only i think 19.99 i've had my eye on it for a little bit but i felt like at one point i was just doing too much with the brass brass hair brass hair brass hair brass hair brass hair brass hair brass hair. it was like girl figure out your space before you just have brass everywhere or gold everywhere and now that i've done just that and because it's a larger space i have more room more space and it doesn't feel like there are gold accents everywhere so can't wait to use this. Um, I'm gonna show you the next item, which is this. <laughs> this ridged glass vase. This was, was this a dollar and change? I know when I saw it, I was like, oh, this cannot be the price. It can't be the price. But instead of getting two, I was responsible and I got one. And I'm thinking maybe putting that on this tray with some fresh cut flowers, right? And then maybe some perfumes. I don't know yet, but they both were in the same section. You know, once you kind of get through the frames and the artworks, you have candles, vases, trays, and so forth. So I was just so excited to pick both of them up. Speaking of perfumes, this glass dome can be used to put over your perfumes, like we saw on the tour, walking through the um, showroom. There was one that I picked up. It was a glass dome without the handle or knob at the top. And it just simply had um, a gold base. So it was almost like a smaller version of this with a dome that fits over the gold base perfectly. And I had it in my car and then I thought to myself, you don't need that because I already have two of these at home. And it worked out perfectly. I came home and put this over my perfume bottles. Perfect height, perfect size. Perfect fit, and so saved a little bit of money. But I do have my eye on those other two domes. We'll be going back to get those someday. And then we have this bowl with, um, this glass bowl with a lid. It was the last one. I don't know if you saw in the intro walking into the store how they have like the little vignette um, set up as you enter the store, but this was on the table with the gray dishes, the gray and pink um, place setting. So I think you can use it for just about anything. It seems like they had it displayed to use for like sugar or like a tea party, but I definitely think this would be great for like jewelry <laughs> or like any trinkets or if you're using it like in a dining or kitchen area, um, like a candy dish or what else? Comment down below, let me know. What would you use this for? But it was the last one and I just think it's so elegant. You know how I feel about that cut glass, etched glass, ridge glass, rib glass. I just love it. Then we have this lovely vase. It has kind of like an hourglass type of shape because it's like this indentation a little bit above the middle. It was like $2, I believe. Um, just sleek design. It looks like it could be used as a decanter too. If you want to put like water or, you know, some type of like juice in it and use it like in the refrigerator or like in a bedside water um, decanter with a glass just real sleek and seems multifunctional you can use it for various things but i love it nice and plain and holds <laughs> my greens perfectly and also this large glass vessel can't wait to fill this with fresh flowers Uh, these I had purchased back in November um, when they first when I I don't know when they came out but I feel like I first saw them back in like October November these two jars actually this one's in plastic let me show you one that's already open so these are more ridged or cut glass and they are I guess decorative boxes I have jewelry gold jewelry in one and then pearl jewelry in the other you can use them for candy you can use them for so many things during the holidays i use them for um holiday candy and sweets my candy jars now that the holidays are over i'm using them in my bedroom on my dressing table as you can see for jewelry storage and right now they're on clearance they're on clearance yeah the smaller box i could not find but the large ones are in Ikea, in my store, uh, for $149 for this large box. So if you are out at Ikea and you love these, they're in the clearance section. They even have them uh, 
by the cashier, by the cash register. So there's a clearance section there. Not the as is, the clearance section leading to the cash register. Check them out. Next up, soap dispenser. I'm doing a special project in one of my bathrooms and I needed black. So I'm like, I don't really need to buy anything new, but if it's cheap, dollar store, Ikea, in terms of price, why not? And so I saw this in Ikea, affordable price. I think maybe a dollar, two dollars and grabbed it for the bathroom project. Stay tuned for that. If you watched my previous video where I hauled a bunch of furniture, you know that I had these uh, brass gold poles on my previous bedroom nightstands that have now been moved to other spaces in the apartment. I bought a pier and only used one, and so I have this remaining one, but they come in a two pack. I'll insert the picture here in the price. Uh, but they're just so darling. It kinda looks like earrings, but they're just so darling. It's not like a cheap gold finish. It's like a genuine brassy gold, uh, but not too like cheesy yellow, you know? It looks expensive. I haven't opened this item yet, but I maybe maybe I should do that now. It is a, oh, I used my nails. It is a brass gold double window frame, picture frame. Isn't that lovely? And it folds closed, so if you want to just have it where, you know, one picture is showing or if you want to have it like so. I mean, you could do variations. I think there's no back, or this is the back, so yeah. I think that this would be the way it would go. So you could put a picture of two people, you and your love, you and your babies, whoever. A mom, a dad, grandparents. I just feel that it's perfect for like family mementos and I need to do better with that. I had so many family pictures up in my previous space and I'm still getting acclimated so I'm looking forward to setting up the space with family photos. And last items for home decor are these lovely Ikea frames. I've had these for quite some time but I went back and wanted to get two more. This is the dark brown color. Love, love, love. The artwork sold separately. It's actually a gift from my niece years ago. And then this one is a smaller size. Same cut. It is the Versirum frame from Ikea. Comes in a black brown, the dark black brown. I think it comes in like the light veneer wood and then white. And so I decided to grab a few of these to complete a gallery wall project. Stay tuned for that too. And finally, Oprah hands. The last few items. So the weather's warming up. Outdoor patio design projects are gonna be happening all over. Some of you probably have already started. I don't know if you have because we can't really go anywhere. The world is just starting to open back up. And so patio space, outdoor space. Some of you probably had your patios and outdoor spaces done last year because we couldn't go anywhere last spring and summer. And so I am extremely excited about getting my patio balcony whatever you want to call it I guess the balcony is off the ground yeah my apartment balcony decorated because she she is me will be spending a lot of time outdoors first up this beautiful white lantern I'm trying to understand how it works I think it's oh yeah there we go okay so what happens is this slides off and you can insert your candle citronella whatever scented whatever and then it slides back on to the base I cannot wait and the lighting that shines through all of these like holes this perforated design I can only imagine how gorgeous it's gonna be I should have gotten two, but hey everything in moderation right and you can never have enough of these if you're a plant mom plant lover or aspiring plant owner Ikea is a great place to pick up plant pots or flower pots they are so affordable, but I wanted to get planters in different shapes, all white, but different shapes for my outdoor space. So I cannot wait to show you what I'll be doing to take my babies from indoors to outdoors. I feel like the kids are about to go out, school's out, and they're about to go outside and play for summer because I need the space inside my apartment. I am too excited. Stay tuned for that. And for the online order, I got some bath rugs, two large bath rugs. It says gray, but they're really, they look black. Um, not sure why they're showing up as two-toned. And last but not least, as you saw in the previous Ikea video, the first one I posted from the online order was the Billy Bookcase extension. 
which took this up about 14 inches taller. And now it's time for the final reveal. Is that it? Oh, I needed batteries for my TV remote. You stop that. See you in the next video. Bye. Where you at? Ah! Look. It's bright. It's really bright. Ah! Okay. Bye for real this time. <laughs>